Hey guys, so today I'm going to be filming my empties video for you. I had intended on filming my everyday makeup look, but I've been trying for like the last hour and a half and I just couldn't get the lighting to work and my setup was terrible in here because I'm filming in my living room right now because my bedroom is a terrible mess. I was hoping I could get away with not having to clean my bedroom and just film the video out here, but it didn't work, so I'm going to have to clean up my room and then I will film my everyday makeup look for you guys. I know I keep putting this off, I'm really sorry, but today I'm going to do my empties video for you. Um, I have quite a few products that I've used up lately, and I really needed to just go through my makeup and throw a lot of stuff away because my makeup collection is ridiculous, and there's just way too much of it, and a lot of it doesn't get used because it's basically gone, so it was just time to go through and pick out all the empties and throw them away. So I'm going to start off with all the beauty products. I have a lot of beauty products, mostly face products, just because those are the products that I go through the most. Those are the products that I don't buy such a wide variety of and I kind of just use one and then toss it or for some reason leave it sitting in the drawer even though it's basically gone. I don't know what's wrong with me. I'm like a hoarder or something. I wanted to show you the Naked Skin Foundation because I have gone through that several times. I'm on like my third bottle of it right now, but I've actually thrown away all of those bottles, surprisingly enough, so I don't have them on me, but that is my favorite foundation right now. I absolutely love the coverage, it's not too much, but it's not too little, and it's very lightweight, and it works well with my oily skin, which rarely happens with foundations, so I absolutely love that stuff, and I will definitely buy that again. Another foundation that I've gone through a few times is this Revlon Color Stay. I actually have like three empty bottles of it in my makeup collection right now. I'm pretty sure I just kept them because that way I could remember like what colors I use because they have so many colors. They have a really wide range of colors in this product and um, I use like three of them depending on what time of the year it is. So I kind of like kept them around just to like have like the right colors so that I would know but I think I'm just gonna like write them down or something because I actually haven't even used this product in a long time. I love this stuff. It's an amazing coverage. It's probably a better coverage I think than Naked Makeup. It is like a lot heavier but I was looking for something lightweight and that's why I'm using the Naked Makeup now but I would definitely buy this stuff again for like a fuller coverage foundation. I think I actually might go out and pick up another one sometime soon. And I also found a empty Clinique Acne Solutions bottle in my makeup collection. I don't know why I haven't thrown this away because I haven't used this in such a long time. I think I got this for Christmas a couple years ago or something but I absolutely loved this stuff when I did use it. It's a really great acne makeup. It doesn't break out your skin. It's great for oily skin um, but I don't think it has like the coverage that I was looking for. It's a really pretty light coverage actually and you kind of have to like pack it on to get like a super good coverage but it is a really great foundation. It's a great summer foundation for me and I might actually buy another one of these this summer. You never know. And another one of my favorite summer foundations that I go through an entire jar of every summer is this Dream Matte Mousse foundation. This stuff is amazing and as you can see it's just gone. Um, I love this stuff. It's really good to kind of like use it and then throw it away though because the consistency of it does get really gross after a while. And then yet another summer product. This is kind of dumb that I'm showing you guys all these summer products in the middle of winter. But um, I finally used up my e.l.f. tinted moisturizer. This is like the second one of these that I've gone through. This is like barely even a coverage but it's a great thing for like the summer. Like run into the grocery store or something where I don't want to look totally gross but I just kind of want to rub some tinted moisturizer on my face and leave. So this stuff is great and it's only three dollars which is an amazing deal for something that actually works. This is like my favorite tinted moisturizer and it's super cheap which is awesome. So now I have a couple of powders that I've used up. The first one I used up really recently. This is the Revlon Nearly Naked Foundation Powder and it's a really great product. As you can see I used it down to basically nothing. Um, it's my summer shade though so I can't use it now so I have to go out and buy a new one. Um, but I do absolutely love it. I used this so much that the name like faded off of the front. That's how much use this product got. I like carried around it in my purse and everything every day. It's a really great product. And then another awesome powder foundation is the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish. Obviously everybody knows that these are great. Um, I keep this around to remind myself to buy a new one but I never go to MAC mainly because I hate shopping there because the employees are always rude and I can't stand going in there. And for empty eye products I have my Rimmel Exaggerate Waterproof Eyeliner. Um, this has been empty for a while. I've already bought a new one, but I kept it around so that I could show you guys. Literally, I used it down to nothing. Like, 
I can barely, I couldn't even use it anymore. It was that useless. Um, so I went out and bought a new one. This is my favorite eyeliner. It's the only black eyeliner I use, and it's relatively inexpensive, so it's really just all around a great product. And then I absolutely love this product, too. This is probably, like, my third tube of this. This is the, ooh, whoops. This is the L'Oreal um, Million Lashes Mascara, and... This stuff is just amazing. Like, I'm surprised I haven't talked about it a lot in my videos before, but it's my favorite, favorite mascara aside from the Benefit They're Real, and it's a way better deal than that mascara. Um, it separates your eyelashes so well, and I don't really need, like, a lengthening mascara because I already have, like, ridiculously long spider eyelashes, so I use volumizing mascaras like crazy, and I love this stuff. Um, this is just an empty tube that I found lying around. I have like four more of these in my purse, in my room, in the bathroom, they're everywhere because I love them so much. So that's all my used up beauty products out of the way. Now I'm going to move on to hair products. So I have a few shampoo and conditioner products that I've used up lately. Um, first is the Organics Nourishing Coconut Milk Shampoo. I absolutely love this stuff. I love all of the Organics products just because they're a really good price for what's almost like a salon quality product like they're not amazing quality but they are really good for the price um this stuff makes your hair feel amazing and i absolutely love the way that it smells and since i used that up i've actually <laughs> been using my boyfriend's shampoo and i managed to use up that too and he's kind of mad but i'll go buy him a new bottle it's whatever um but this is the axe anarchy two in one shampoo and i love this because it's a shampoo and a conditioner um and i use this and then use conditioner so i like double condition my hair and that's really good for my hair because my hair gets really dry really easily um and i love the way this stuff smells too because it's smells like my boyfriend. And I also just recently ran out of my Bedhead Dumb Blonde Conditioner. A lot of people don't understand that this is not for blonde hair. Um, this is a reconstructor for after highlights, chemi damaged or chemically treated hair. Um, I actually didn't realize that that's what this was until I actually picked the bottle up and read it. And I think a lot of other people make that assumption as well. So I just thought I'd let you all know that this stuff is amazing for chemically treated hair. It is not for blonde hair. It's not gonna make your hair like blonder or anything. It's really just an excellent reconstructing conditioner and I absolutely love it. It's $17 a bottle, which is a lot more than I generally pay for conditioner, but that's how you know it's good is if I'm willing to pay that much money for it because it's just a great product. I love it. And then one styling product that I have used up recently is the Herbal Essences Tussling Spray Gel. Um, I just love to use this product when I don't really want to do much with my hair or when I've done too much with my hair and like my curls are like too constructed. I use this to make them look more tussled and less unnatural, I guess. Um, this makes just a really like natural looking hairdo and I absolutely love this stuff so I'm definitely gonna go buy another bottle of it. Right now I'm using like a sea salt spray which kind of does basically the same thing. It just dries your hair out a little bit more which isn't really good for your hair, you know. And I've also recently pretty much run out of my Dark Angels soap from Lush. Um, as I mentioned in a lot of my videos, I've been using the Coal Face soap lately just because it's a little bit less harsh on your skin. I'll probably go back to this stuff in the summer. Um, this is a black sugar and charcoal cleanser for oil prone skin. So it's got charcoal in it just like the Coal Face soap does, but it also has a black sugar in it which exfoliates your skin super well, but it dries your skin out really hard and it's super harsh on your skin, so I don't like to use it during the winter. And then just a couple of random things that I've used up lately. I finally burned up my bathroom candle. This is the Fireside Candle from Bath & Body Works. I absolutely love the way this smells. It just reminds me of winter because this was like the first Bath & Body Works candle that I ever bought was a Fireside Candle and I bought it in the winter and so it just reminds me so much of like winter time and sexy men in plaid. I don't know. I just absolutely love the way this stuff smells. It's got that good cologne smell to it. And lastly, I have finally just about used up the last of my black cherry berry herbal tea. There is one sad, lonely little tea bag left in here. So I'm going to use this up and then I'm going to have to go buy a new one because this is one of my favorite herbal teas ever. This is like my favorite fruity herbal tea flavor. Um, I like like peach herbal teas, but otherwise my favorites are like berry flavored herbal teas. They're so delicious and I also like that this one is caffeine free so I can drink it at night and I won't be up until like 3 in the morning. 
So that is all of my empty products that I could find to show you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like I said, I am trying to get my everyday makeup look up. I will do that as soon as I possibly can. I'm going to go clean my room tonight so that I can film that video as soon as possible. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys later. Bye!